What's up everybody? Um, so today we're going to be unboxing, putting together and testing out the Yiso workout bike. Um, I always talk to you guys about how important your health is when it comes to your business because without no health, there is no business. If you don't have the energy to do the things that you want to do in your business on a day-to-day -day basis, it's just not sustainable in life. And guess what? If your business is successful and your health declines, then you'll trade it all, all the success in the world, just to get your health back on track. So before you get to that point, let's start to implement some exercising in our daily routine. Put yourself first on a day-to-day -day basis and get your exercise in. So full disclosure, this exercise bike was sent to me by Yeesoul to check out to see if it's something that you guys are interested in. So if you guys are interested, of course, the Yeesoul affiliate link will be down in the description below. So let's open it up, put it together, and test it out for the first time. All right, so it comes with a big box right here and a small box. Small box has fragile on it, so I'm assuming that that's the screen. So let's unbox the small box first, let's do it. So let's open this thing up right here and see what is inside of this box right here. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, guys, I already have a Peloton, but we're gonna see, I'm gonna be very excited to check this out and put it up against the Peloton and see which one I like better, see if it's comparable. Um, but w I mean, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so this does look like it's a TV screen. So let me try to carefully, because it does say fragile on a box take the components out of this. This is a huge, huge screen. Okay, there's something in that. But this screen right here, this is a large size screen, guys. Look at this thing. Let me, let me take the, so you guys can see it. Wow. It's kind of lightweight, kind of lightweight. Let me just take the wrapping off of it right here. Oh, look. Look at it. Wow, can you believe this goes on a bike? Incredible. Look how big this thing is. This is like, I don't know, I wanna say 32, but I think it's a little bit bigger than 32, but we'll, we'll, we'll get the exact dimensions later on. Let me sit this off to the side right now. And what else is in here is a little box. I guess this has components for connecting to the bike, but um, let me sit this off to the side right here. So I do believe that that's it for this box. Yeah, we got nothing else left in this box right here. So I'm going to put this aside and let's get to the big box, which has the meat and potatoes. First, it says, please put the box upside down and unpack from the bottom. All right. So this is the front. This is the front and this would be upside down. All right. So we'll unbox from the bottom. Please put the box upside down and unbox. OK, so I'm going to put it down like this. And I think that's it. I think that's upside down. Looks good to me. All right, so let's start unboxing this thing. All right, get my little whatever you got, a little shanker, whatever you got to unbox your situation. All right. Um, all right. I am just going to caveman it because this bike is not going anywhere. Caveman in it. Rip it open. Ooh, baby. I see some stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Look at this. I'm excited. So excited. I don't even know where to start. All right, so let me. Very well packaged. Very, very well packaged. All right, so let me um, figure out how I'm gonna do this right here. It takes so, so long. All right, we got that. I'll take that out of plastic because it's going together. Might as well take it out of plastic right now. And I'll sit that right here. And I'll sit each thing off to the side one by one. I mean, can you guys see all this stuff right here? bracket maybe this is to hold the tv that's what it looks like put that off the side we got some poles right here all right very very well packaged good job yay soul so you know your stuff is going to be very um well packaged good and put together and you have everything when you get your 
exercise bike. This is obviously for the floor, all right? I believe there should be probably another one over on the other side. So let me set that right there. L wrench right here, put that to the side. And on the other side, we have, of course, the other um, wheels and stuff for the workout bike. So let's get that out. And that's it for that. Yep. And now we got the workout bike. Ooh. <laughs> Nice size, nice size, nice and hefty. I think Yiso knew exactly what they were doing. They sent this to the right person because I'm going, we're gonna use this, we're gonna use this. We're gonna see what this bike is all about. Immediately, I like the look of it. Um, I like the feel of it, I like the heft of it. It is hefty, it's not cheap by any means necessary. Very, very heavy, the body, the body of this. Um, we do need two people to uh, move this box, this particular box right here. I was able to move it by myself, but I'm not your average level of strength. Here's a handlebar right here. All right, guys, so this is everything that you get right here. I went ahead and laid everything out, and I put the rest of the stuff in the trash. This is everything you get. It's not that many components seems kind of easy to put together the bulk of it is put together there's a bike right there that's put together and it doesn't seem like there's that many parts you got the handlebars right here you got um some foot peg right there that goes on the front i think back foot peg right there you got some weights you got this attachment right here you got an extender looks like that might be for the screen you got some pedals you got this stuff right here you got some Looks like that attached to the screen right there. You got some cables, you got the power cord right there. And of course you got the big screen right here. Um, came with some weights too, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. You got the Allen wrench and you got some um, a regular wrench right there with some other stuff, maybe some instructions in there. And that's pretty much it. Doesn't look like it's gonna be that much, that difficult of a build. Um, so I'm gonna assume that with this Allen key right here, you just go ahead and put that leg um, on here. It's got two little screws right there. You just undo that with your Allen wrench, put it on there, redo it. Same thing for the front part, put it on there, redo it. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. I'm gonna give instructions. I think those instructions are once over. And then once we are certain, then we will go ahead and put it together. Let's look at these instructions. This is what we got inside the bag. Got a few miscellaneous um, screws and nuts and bolts. And we got this in Chinese and we got this in English. And I like the instructions already because it does have the um, explanation in English and words as well as illustrations. Very, very easy to follow instructions right there. So you can't mess this up, guys. It shows exactly what to do, exactly where to put everything nice and simple and laid out. So let me go ahead and start, and just like I thought, they come off, put them on the front, um, but the, the one I thought went on the back goes on the front, so I was wrong about that. But um, see, it's good to give the instructions once over. So let me start putting this thing together. Should be real easy. So um, just follow the instructions and should be real easy. Let's do it. So these two get unscrewed, put it in this way. All right, with the wheels facing forward, guys. You wanna put it in this way with the wheels facing forward. That way when you tilt it forward um, from the back, you can roll it around on the wheels when you need to move it around, all right? So that's the way you put it in, not the way I was about to put it in, all right? So make sure you guys pay attention, all right? Gotta have a little bit of ingenuity to uh, figure out how that would work. I'm glad I thought about that. I'm like, wait a minute, how do you roll it around with the wheels backwards? Yeah, the wheels gotta be forward. When you tilt it, it sits on the wheels. That way you can roll around the bike better when you need to move it around. All right, easier. Tighten it down a lot so that it's secure. And then we'll be good to go. Then we'll do the back. Now that it's out, just Pick that up, put it on there, line up them holes, and put that back in there. Mm -hmm. well, I got that locked in. There we go. 
Nice, nice, nice. All right, nice and soft. Got the back and the front on as it sits right here. You can go ahead and tilt this forward. And if you need to, you can roll it around on the wheels to move it around from place to place. All right, let's put the next part together. Let's look at the instructions and see what's next. All right, so next it says to screw out the adjustment lever. I'm assuming on top here, like so. Like so, yes, because the adjustment, the holes right here coincide with that right there. But there's a little wire on the inside of here. And it says that this connects to that. So I think this came out while we were um, packaging this, un unboxing it. So I think this goes down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it down. And I think that wire has to connect to this wire. So let me just go ahead and drop it in there coming out the bottom top so we make sure this is stays out the top right here and plug the bottom part into this part right here I'm trying to do this right here with one hand but all right so it plugs up got the clicks right here so just click that into each other right there boom all right that's locked into place right there just go ahead and drop that in here oh yeah we cooking on gas baby we cooking on gas baby all right can we push that down any adjust it like that so when you pull it out you can push it down and then you pull it out like that and pull it back up let's see let's see so next we got the dumbbell rack that's pretty simple looks like it sits right here or is it right here let me look at the instruction booklet and see but one thing's for sure you do have to take this off so let's go ahead and take that off right there take that off all right now once that's off you want to go ahead and sit this according to the instructions it looks like it goes like no not like that let me look at the instructions again the picture it's always good to have pictures on here. All right, so it looks like it sits. It can either go this way or that way. And from the picture, it looks like it's going this way. No. Let me see. It's definitely going this way. Why don't I grab a dumbbell and see? So if it went this way, then the dumbbells will sit like this. That makes the most sense. All right, so I'm gonna put it in there this way. And this seat is kind of loose. We definitely gotta tighten that up. So, yep. all right. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Simple and it makes sense. All right, so now that that's in there, go ahead and put our dumbbells in place right there. You know what I mean? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Alright, now, we'll figure that out in a second, guys. Alright, that fixed that right there. That fixed that, alright. So next, next we're going to put the handlebars on there. Kind of self-explanatory. Kind of self-explanatory a little bit. Yeah, okay, let me take these screws out first. Alright. Now we'll place that in here, but we place fish the wire through the hole right here. Place that on here. Not too difficult at all. All right, one here. Put one back there. Man, listen, man, listen. We got this thing almost, almost back together. Screwing these right back onto the top right here. Nice and easy all right so now we're going to take these two wires right here and we are going to attach them i don't have to show you close up of this because kind of self-explanatory is only one way they can go in and now that's in i'm going to go ahead and drop the wire down in here all right that's cool and i'm going to go ahead and feed that in there and just as i thought i am going to have to take this back off as well so i can secure it to the base right here so yeah let me take these screws back off as well and put that back on the correct way 
because I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. How cool is that? How good of a friend am I, guys? All right, so now just go ahead and slide that in there like so. And now I'll put the screws back on like so. Got one on that side, one on this side. And now we can tighten it back down. Sheesh. Now we can tighten that back down. All right, go ahead and put that back in place right here. Both of them. Tighten that back up like that. We're almost home free. We're running out of parts here. We are running out of parts. And that is a good thing when you start to run out of parts. All right. Got that right there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Hand tighten. I can go ahead and max tight that. Tighten that down to the max. And there is a screw that goes on the top. I'm not sure which one it is yet. Gonna look at the instructions in a second. And there is a screw that we had sitting on the ground randomly from the beginning. I think this is the one that goes on the top right here to secure this. It appears that it is. I saw it on the instructions and it just makes sense that it fits right here. It's the only random screw sitting around. So boom, that came out of the bag actually. All right, so now you just drop the TV on like so. All right, you put that on there like so. All right. All right, go ahead and swivel that in. Until it drops into place. There we go. Alright, now you take this knob right here, drop that in, and go ahead and tighten it up. There we go, show you guys exactly what we're doing right now. Got the right screw right here. Go ahead and screw that. As soon as we got that all the way in, we just screw that down. We gotta get it locked in first. Alright. That goes there, this goes in right here, and this clips down in there, and now we can screw it down in. All right, and when we got this screwed down in, guys, it can actually, the middle part articulates, and it, um, I'll show you guys. Let me just get this secure first. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go wrench on this side, Allen key on this side, and, adjust TV to where we want it to be, kind of like there, and tighten that thing up, right here, I think, oh, oh man, look at that so far guys, what we got right here, next we're going to put on our water bottle holder, and that is very, very self-explanatory, we just go ahead and put that right here, like so, that slides into place, but actually we have to take these screws out, and I think we're going to use a small Allen key for that. Well, the middle size one right here. So we just unscrew these. A lot of unscrewing and screwing back in. Unscrew these right here. Bam. Our container right here. All right. Unscrew that. And I do believe this slides in. How does it slide in? It slides in this way. Yeah. You slide it in like that. Here we go, you can sit your water bottle right there, that's dope. And then we just go ahead and screw that back in. And screw that back in. And tighten them down. And the water bottle part will be done. This cover right here, I believe it just makes sense to go right here. Boom, click that into place. It just sits there, nothing fancy, it's just, all right, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't screw in or anything, it just clicks into place right here, that's sufficient. Now you put on the pedals, angle it down a little bit so you guys see, yeah. and um, I do believe that once I get this tightened in, that our bike is pretty much together because we're out of parts we are this is a part right here I don't know where this goes but 
let me see if I can figure it out. There's one part rubber bushing. I'm not sure where it goes. Now guys, we are freshly fully out of parts. Only things left to do is plug these two in. So I'm gonna plug this in the back of the thing right here. Plug that in right there and screw it in so that it's secure. All right, that screws in there. So now we got this power adapter. I do believe from putting the bike together, it plugs into the bottom base of the bike right here, right, right in the back right there. So I'm just gonna take these apart. Down here at the base of the bike, there is a connector. So I'm assuming it goes here. I mean, it makes sense. Kind of loose right there, it's interesting. And then I plug this into the wall right here. And then we're powered up, we're powered up. Ooh, it powered on, it turned on, the screen turned on. Ooh. Look at that, wow. Wow, guys. I'm gonna turn it back off and turn it back on again so we can get a full, full thing. It shouldn't have powered on like that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, we, we kind of missed that. Kind of missed it. Let me go ahead and unplug it. I mean, take off, let me take off the, the plastic. And we're gonna redo that. We're gonna redo that so we can have a good experience. All right, so we are in riding position, guys. I'm gonna turn off the light. and just have the ambient light going. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna press the power button so we can get the full experience. Here we go. Here we go, boom. All right, there we go. Nice. I wonder if we got a little small hum. Ye soul. Nice graphic popped up there. Hello. Nice. And here we go. Please connect your bike via Ye soul fitness app. That is awesome. So. Keep it on English. Is this touchscreen? It should be. All right, and then we can. All right, so right now the app is in the app. I'm gonna turn on Bluetooth, and it's asking me to connect my bike. So you just follow the prompts in the app to connect your bike, and you'll be up and running. Boom! Please start your subscription via Yeso Fitness. I don't want a subscription, so I'm gonna leave it like this right now. Please select your workout in the app um all these check marks right here and i can go ahead and select a workout free 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 recommended for you seven day strong fat burn fat burn 15 minutes personalized 15 minutes go measure measure oh man it's a lot of stuff in here to choose from guys this is pretty cool gives a calendar exercise data in may and active days Weak streak. Please select your workout in the app. Once again, it's not touch screen, but it's pretty cool. It's not touch screen, um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let me push a button and see what happens. Fat burn. All right. Um, let me click one of the free workouts because I don't want to. All right. So start. Let's see what happens. Look at that. So unfortunately, it is in Chinese. Put it in high definition. All right, these are all okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, Tony. Here we go. Yes, so. day dopamine addicted program, and this one is a 30 minute dopamine addicted ride. You should do. Um, I can't adjust my saddle like this. All right, all right, adjust the saddle like that, and let's get on. All right, guys, so we are on the Yes, so workout bike. What I will tell you right now is I know what you guys are wondering. 
you guys want to know um, how does this compare to the Peloton? Um, how does it feel to pedal this thing? We just put this thing together and to my surprise it is very smooth like all right you know back in the day when they used to have workout bikes and when you pedaled it felt kind of clunky and kind of weird this is absolutely smooth very 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 comparable to the peloton full full disclosure i do have a peloton and we will be comparing the peloton the look and the feel in future videos so stay tuned for that immediately i noticed the screen is bigger. Um, the difference is Peloton is touchscreen, right? Um, you can work out without your smartphone with the YSO. You can work out without your smartphone by just getting on and pedaling, but you don't have access to the functions of the, of the screen. So you have to operate it through the app. Um, uh, I noticed the, the uh, pricing inside of the app to access the other workouts. Peloton, I think it's something like 30 something dollars. A month right which is worth it if you're on a peloton like that um yes so nine dollars 99 cent per month so that's incentive right there um we have an english speaking um a person right here so at first we had a you know i think it was chinese speaking person now we have an english speaking person and like i said it's really really easy really comfortable on here and i can feel that i'm already starting to like break up a little sweat a little bit just adjust it slightly and I can feel a slight bit of resistance but it's still smooth still smooth all right so overall I like the feel um, the saddle feels very very comfortable not like a road bike my road bike I swear to God guys my road bike I can never get comfortable on that saddle but the yeso right here the saddle is pretty comfortable I feel like I could be on it for a while and um, like I said I can feel myself starting to break a little sweat so it is a good workout bike overall. I like the way I'm seated on the saddle. I like the positioning that I have on the bike right here. And um, I, to be honest, um, the price of this, it's valid. It's valid. It's, it's a good buy, in my opinion, if you don't want to spend the extra money on the Peloton. You guys can go ahead and use my affiliate link down in the description below and check out the pricing of this and you know compare it to the peloton and see the pros and cons of both now the peloton does have okay first of all this is not a yeso versus peloton comparison video that video will be coming up soon so stay tuned for that but uh overall i think that this is a great bike definitely gonna use it definitely gonna be using both of them and tell you guys what i think about this one versus the other one it's keeping track of everything on the screen, how fast I'm going, the calories I'm burning, um, how, you know, how many miles I've gone, what the resistance is on. And as I tighten it, I can see the resistance adjust on the screen. It's connected to my Wi-Fi. It's pretty cool. Cadence going on. Um, and it's also keeping track of everything in the app. I can switch between 1080, 720, 480, and 360p in the app for the clarity as far as like the resolution on the screen so that's pretty cool you got they got the resistance i mean the uh, resolution and different resolutions in case you we have bad wi-fi or something like that so um that's pretty cool so overall i like the ESO fitness bike i think it's a go it's not like and you guys can see i'm pedaling very very smooth very very smooth a little faster turn off the resistance very very smooth Whew my thighs working yeah i like it a lot very very smooth all right so that's it for the useful bike we put it together let me stop this we put it together we rode it um we got a feel for it and i like it so far let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching thank you so yes soul if when you know better you do better yes soul thank you yes soul for sending me this bike it will get plenty of views. I can promise you that. I can assure you that. And uh, I'll keep you guys up to date. All right. Um, stay tuned for the Peloton versus Yesel video coming up in the near future. Give me a thumbs up, share, like, and comment if you have um, any workout gear and what workout gear you have and what workout gear you recommend for us to stay in shape. Nothing beats a nice premium gym, has a sauna and stuff like that because 
makes you want to go, it makes, an act, it makes it an activity, makes uh, working out and staying healthy an activity as opposed to just a regular gym, right? But if you can't afford that, just simple Planet Fitness stuff and definitely um, put your health and your, your fitness first before everything else because if, like I said, if you're out of shape and, you know, being out of shape causes a lot of illnesses. So if you can't get it together, start getting it together and most of all, use it before you lose it. Use it or lose it, all right? And, and one more thing, if you're not sweating when you're working it out, you're not doing it right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, yes, so. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?